All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice is coming good. Uh, please invite your friends. Nobody expect me to be now because I just uh, announced it and I started right away. So please share with your friends on Facebook, etc., so we can get more people here. Uh, our topic today is very simple, and actually, I'm not going to ask any question except one. And my Skype is open for all the Muslims to call me. The question is so simple. Who is Allah? One of the funny things about Islam that none of the Muslims can tell us who is Allah and what even the word, the word Allah mean. I never heard of people who worship a God, but yet this God is unknown to them, except Muslims. <clears throat> they do not know what his name means. They do not know where the name is coming from. They do not know who is he. Their prophet himself never spoke to him, never even heard his voice, not even one word. How Muhammad became a prophet of a God he himself he never spoke to? Those questions Muslims have no answer. When you ask a Muslim a question, who is Allah? Or what he will say to you, he's the creator. I mean, <laughs> what an answer. I mean, you know, supposedly we know that he is you claim to be that he is god so obviously he should be the creator but this is not the question the question who is allah but how you know he is the creator where do you get this information from where do you get the name from the prophet who you follow where he got his name from did he meet him did he speak to him never so who is allah It's very funny and very naive that people are going to follow someone they do not know who is he. Nobody know. Hey, my friend Dennis, how are you? Uh, guys, this uh, this gentleman Dennis, he is uh, he's a wonderful man, and. Uh, uh, actually, I spend time more with him more than others because he is the one always give me the ride anywhere I want to go, even home. So I'm really thankful for having him in Germany. Uh, he, you know, he gave a lot of his time and he drive even like it's late sometimes. It's like 1 a.m. in the morning and it's still he drive me all the way where I am going to stay. So I'm very happy to have him here and we are glad to have you, my brother. I hope to see you soon again. Uh, My Skype again is open if there is any Muslim is listening and he would like to call me please feel free my name in Skype is debate TV one word there is no space feel free to call me and I will be happy to speak to you the Muslims are confused even about the nature of this God what this God is made of is he a spirit what do you think, guys? Is Allah a spirit? Who knows the answer? Who remember the answer? Anyone knows? Is Allah a spirit? No. So what he is? <laughs> Do Allah have a body? Who knows? Let us try to analyze the information and to see how stupid this cult is. Is Allah is a body? Do he have a body? A physical body? Who knows? Who want to give me the answer? Let us go one by one. Do he have a physical body? Yes, he have a physical body. So let us take notes. Allah, Allah is not a spirit. Maybe I should uh, maybe I should write that in the front of us in the screen, uh, so so we can take notes of this and we can laugh together about this God who is really weird. You know, there is tons of movies, by the way. I mean, YouTube videos made by Muslim scholars who explain Allah hands, Allah foot, Allah toes, Allah fingers, Allah nose, Allah eyes. I mean, this God He have hands. He have eyes, he have foot, he have a leg, 
he have hands he have fingers but yet he is not a man okay who care I mean who care but he have no spirit well what does that mean he is a statues what this God is made of if you search right now in Google let me let me do that in the front of you hold on just to show you the madness of this cult I will search in Google and you can do the same and right away I found a, a website in the top he is debating with the Christian and asking does uh, does God have a spirit a spirit of is uh, no, a spirit of his land is not what you know okay uh, Muslim worship blah blah blah, blah 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 let us go to the first one because this is the Muslim answer is Allah a spirit the question someone he is a Christian asking a Muslim and you can read the question yourself he is saying to him or let us say in this conversation they are the Christian asking the Muslim if he if his God is a spirit I am debating with uh, a Christian he said to me that God has a spirit my question is does Allah have a spirit and then he between between the bracket a spirit like a spirit of man angels or others etc creatures is a spirit something that is created or what the answer no one has the right to describe Allah except the way which ha he has described himself or his messenger nobody had the right that's it it's in inclusive description have to come only by two Muhammad and Allah you see the Muslim they say to you Abraham is a prophet Isa is a prophet Moses is a prophet. but only one person can describe Allah the rest they have nothing no business they are retired that is Muhammad or Allah okay uh, because no one knows more about Allah than Allah <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> and no created being has more knowledge of his creator than the messenger of Allah. No, there's nobody. Muhammad is the best who knows everything. You know, when when the when when people they ask Muhammad about a simple question about the spirit, what his God told Muhammad to say. Let us read together and laugh just to show you that Allah, the one they are calling him God, is an idiot. And I'm talking here about Muhammad. He is the he is the true Allah. People they ask Muhammad, what is the spirit? Because remember, the question in that website is about a ruh. Ruh is in Arabic, is a spirit. So, what is a ruh? Chapter 17, verse number 85. What is the ruh? They are asking thee okay they are asking thee concerning the spirit say look at the answer look at the answer say the spirit by the command of my lord and of the knowledge ye have been what is the answer you saying to them you do not know allah knows and you do not know what is the answer people are asking muhammad ask your god what is a spirit Allah he sent angel Jibreel the, the, the pizza delivery guy and said to him tell them that the spirit is from the command of Allah and you don't know what is the answer what is the answer Allah himself do not know because Muhammad you know is Allah and he have no answer for this question so he come to conclusion to say Allah knows best as usual who knows best Allah this is chapter 17 verse number 85 so what we will do now who we are going to ask the same question so that what, what, the, what the Muslim they say in the in the in the fatwa website Allah and his messenger is the one who knows who is Allah but yet Muhammad he could not even answer what is the spirit neither his God Allah then just to make it short to get to the conclusion all right what is the answer
Let us see. I'm trying just to get the answer at the end. Give us the answer at the end, finally. Where is the answer? And now he is quoting the Bible, you know, to explain what the spirit is. <laughs> oh boy. Oh. And you know, look, look how look how the Muslims uh, the, the uh, how funny they are. They say to you in the book of Luke, chapter eleven, verse number thirteen, it says that John the Baptist he was filled by the Holy Spirit. So how you can say that he is Jibril? Are you crazy, Muslims? How he is Jibril? You see that? You see the madness? Madness, stupidity. But let me show you uh, where the, the final answer. I'm trying to find the answer. Um, uh, because he says, I remember we, we spoke about the same website before. Allah is not a spirit. Where is the answer? Okay, here we go. The spirit or soul is not one of the attribute of Allah. As simple as that, that's it. The, rather, it is one of the things that have been created by Allah. So Allah is not a spirit and he has no spirit. Allah is not a spirit and he has no spirit so what we will do now any muslim do we have any any muslim uh, around to tell us so what we would do who is allah now See today, I'm uh, I'm using uh, the other account, Christian Prince, uh, for my broadcast. Uh, which is fine, you know. Like I have many accounts, as you know. So this one is fine too. Uh, Is it true that the Messiah, the Messiah mentioned in the Hadith, matches the Antichrist in Revelation, and the Islamic Isa who comes back matches the false prophet in Revelation? Can you discuss this? You see, there's nothing match anything. Everything Muhammad speak of does not match anything, and nothing he spoke of of is it true, even if it's false. Which mean, when when Muhammad he speak about the Antichrist, he is not he never mentioned the Antichrist. Don't mix things together. Muhammad is a Dajjal. Dajjal means he's a liar. So Muhammad, he spoke of someone, he called him Al-Masihu Dajjal. I'm answering somebody who asked, asked me in, in Skype. Al-Masihu Dajjal is a fabrication of Muhammad and his cult. Is not exist in the Bible, neither in Revelation, neither in the Old Testament, neither in the New Testament, and nowhere, nowhere our books speak of. So don't mix things together. The false Muhammad, he have his own stories. What Muhammad he claimed? That there is a guy he will claim that he is the Messiah. And that is not the Antichrist, my friend. That is not the Antichrist. Don't be deceived and don't be misleaded because there is a huge difference. The Antichrist is Antichrist. 
is not someone he is the Messiah or he claim to be the one here we have a false Messiah according to Muhammad and he will claim to be the Messiah Muhammad he is as the devil he is preparing for you and preparing the Muslims to reject the Messiah when he come back because remember this person is going to say I am the Messiah As you see in front of you in the hadith, and this is the Muslim translation, the message of Allah, S-A-W, B-M-W, Mercedes-Benz, came out to us when we were discussing the Dajjal, false Christ. You see, false Christ. This is not the Antichrist. You know, the problem between, you know, uh, the Christians, that they mix things up. They try to compare between what Muhammad said and, uh, and uh, don't go there. Muhammad never spoke of something truthful. Even the true thing, it's a lie. Even the true thing, it's a lie. What does that mean? When Muhammad, he speak of Mary being a virgin, he was lying when he is telling the truth. How he is lying, but yet he is telling the truth. He don't believe in Jesus. He don't believe in anything Jesus came with. But he is a Dajjal, he is a liar. So he have to use some of what you believe, which is the truth. But he was telling a lie. Because when I tell you something I don't believe, I'm lying, even if it's true. Muhammad believed nothing about Jesus. He used the name of Jesus for his propaganda. He used the name of Musa for his agenda. He used the name of Abraham to conquer, to make you believe that I am from the seeds of Abraham. And there's many naive Christians. They keep spraying, saying in their, in, their, in their churches, because they are uneducated, ignorant, that Muhammad is from Ishmael. And this is exactly what Muhammad he wanted to spread to make you believe that he is from Ishmael. But even in the books of the Muslims, Ishmael, he learned Arabic at the age of 11. From the Arab. So how he can be the father of the Arab? That is the most stupid statement ever I can hear. So don't be confused about that. Now, going back to Allah. Who is Allah? Who is Allah? There is any Muslim want to tell us who is Allah? If there is any beautiful Muslim, feel like he want to tell us who is Allah. Actually, the story about uh, about a Dajjal in front of us is additional proof that Jesus is the true God of everybody. And Muhammad, he proved that to us. Why? Because... If you read the stories, as an example, the one in front of us, when they ask about the false Messiah, what Muhammad he said, the false Messiah, what he said, he said, Allah is not one eyed, while the Messiah at the Jal is a blind in the right eye. So if the Messiah, look here the story, how funny it is, and how Muhammad he got himself busted. Allah, according to Muslims, have eyes. He have feet. He have fingers. He have hands. He have a face. He have an ass. He have every attribute of a man. But yet they say he is not a man. Now, Muhammad here is comparing between Allah and the false Messiah. But the false Messiah is what? Is a man. You know what I mean? So what the purpose of comparing between God and man? And the difference between them is the eye. Only one eye is the difference between the Messiah, the false Messiah, and Allah. Only one difference between them. 
It's just the eye. So who is Allah? Allah is a man. Because if you are telling your people, okay, we have a Christian prince and we have Allah. Christian prince, he look exactly like Allah, but the difference between them, Allah eye in the right, or the right eye is not damaged. Thank you very much. You just to prove to us that Allah is a man. In different hadith, Muhammad even he make it more clear by describing Allah as a fat man, short, and he have a big ass. And the only difference between him and the false Messiah is the right eye. Read it with me. And this is not a da'if hadith. This is sahih. Sahih. This is Sahih. Sahih. <laughs> By the way, I don't believe in those things here. They say Sahih. All the hadith is Sahih there. Those are books of Sahih. Anyway, what do you mean Sahih and Da'if? The book, it's called the Sahih. The Sahih books in the Sunnah for the Sunni Muslims are six books. So what do you mean you say they're Sahih? Why you are saying Sahih? The whole book is Sahih. What a garbage. Now look at this. The Prophet said, I have told you so much, so much about the Dajjal. And here, look, the Muslim fabrication, just to confuse you. Just to confuse you and make you believe that we and Muslims, we share and same belief. The Antichrist, that's false. This is not an Antichrist. This is someone, supposedly, he will claim to be the Messiah. And now Muhammad is afraid that people they will be believing in the Messiah and think he is Allah. So how he will make you recognize that this is not Allah? But the question here, why they will think he is Allah anyway? If Allah is not a man, do you see the stupidity of Muhammad, guys? Are you with me? Do you see the stupidity in this in this story? If Allah is not a man anyway, why you are comparing Allah to a man and you are worried and why you are worried that those people, they will be confused about who is Allah and who is the false Messiah. I mean, what they share together in the look, obviously they share everything. Both are men. So when the Muslim they say to us Allah is not a man, they are lying to themselves, and this is against the teaching of their cult. Otherwise, I challenge anyone to explain to me what do you mean the difference between the false Messiah, which is a normal man, and Allah to be only the right eye. Any Abdul in the bushes when I tell us? Well, how is that can be? Only the right eye different between them, but this guy is a man. How that happened? How you say to us the only difference between them is just an eye, so the leg is the same, the mouth is the same, the hands are the same, the body is the same. Only, only the only difference is. The right eye. Do you see it? Any Muslim want to explain to us? So they keep speaking and shouting and you know and going high with the voice and say to you, you are wrong. But the fact, everything saying to us that Allah is absolutely is a man. And even Muhammad himself, he just confessed that Allah. The man he's talking about in this scenario and be based on this story, he must be God. 
for he is going to do things nobody can do Muhammad is worry that people will be confused about who about someone he is a man they will think he is God what will make a man look like a God what will make that man confuse people to the point they will believe his God anyone want to tell us Where is the confusion coming from? It's very simple. Allah, Muhammad, he is trying to make you not to believe in Jesus. Jesus who is going to come with the glory of God over the cloud. He will come with his angels. He will come to you in the image of a man. And now Muhammad saying to you, don't believe in that man. For God, don't have such an eye. And now the Muslims, each time they see somebody have a problem with the right eye, they say to you, oh, maybe, maybe he is the Messiah, the Dajjal. <laughs> and you know, in the year 2018, can't this Messiah who is going to do miracles, he's very powerful, according to Islam. Can't he make a surgery to fix his eye? Can't he? This is the only way to know that he is the false messiah? Is his eye? And this is the only way to know who is Allah? No, no, Allah, who said Allah can't be a body? Allah is a body. My friend, Allah is a body. Muhammad, he said many times, you remember when we say, when we read the hadith, where Muhammad, he said that, uh, uh, that uh, like in the end of the time, uh, Allah will come to them in a shape other than the one which they saw first time. And he will come to them in a shape which they will not recognize. And they will say to you, we seek refuge from Allah against thee. You are not our Lord. Then Allah, he go and he changed his shape. And then they asked Muhammad, how we recognize, recognize him? He said, we recognize him from his shin. Right? So Allah have a, is a physical being. If you go right now to YouTube, give me a second. If we go right now to YouTube, and we do search, little, little search. Let me close some applications here. I have many applications open, which might slow my uh, internet. Okay, one more. All right. If we go in the internet in Google in, in YouTube and we search for Allah as hands, look what we will find. Those are videos made by Muslim scholars. Allah does have two hands. The Muslims agree Allah have two hands. Why Allah have two hands? If there is any Muslim wanna tell us? Why why he have two hands? Do you know what hands mean? Hands, we call them hands because we grab things with them this is why we don't say the dog have a hand the dog have four legs only the stupid quran says that dogs have two hands and allah have two right hands yeah okay allah has fingers why allah has fingers 
<laughs> Why Allah has a fingers? What he will do with the fingers? So Allah has hands, Allah has five fingers. In every hand, he has five fingers. Why? Remember, he's not a man. The Muslim insists he's not a man. Okay. What Allah? What Allah else? What is the feature of Allah? And as you see, those are Muslim cleric teaching in the schools and Islamic and ten, ten of thousands listening and nobody there to say you are wrong. But that's what they teach. Allah has a foot. Do you see it? Allah has a foot. Why Allah has a foot? Remember the Muslims. They say that if Allah wants something to happen, He says, "Stay be is going to be." But by, by the way, but if you read the whole Quran, you will not find one thing was created by B. Adam was created by me in making a mud, fashion the mud, and to make a mud mean to 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 mix water. So the first process, you make sand, then you mix the sand with water, then you fashion the sand in the shape of a human being, and then. Allah supposedly he breathed into this statues and then he became a living creature. So what is Allah said be and it was. And then the stupid Muhammad he said in the Quran that the similarity between Jesus and Adam that Allah he said if he wants something to be he said be and he was. But Allah he never created Adam by saying we. To the point even the Quran says wa kana al-insanu ajula which means a human being he was a rush and when we go read the interpretation, it says that this is because when Allah was finishing Adam, Adam was worried that Allah he might not be able to finish him because the sun almost going to set. So Adam, he sneezed and he told Allah, finish me before the sun set. So Allah have hands, Allah have fingers, Allah have toes, Allah have foot, Allah have a shin. Do you see it? And look here at this guy here. True Deen Islam. This is official Islamic website. True Deen Islam. This is the true Deen. True Deen means religion. Allah has hand, mouth, heels, fingers, shin, even shape. Do you see it? And Allah has no spirit. So he is a physical being. He have fingers. He have shape. He have a, 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 a heels. He have a, 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 a hands. He have a mouth. He have lips. He have nose. So who's Allah? If there's any Muslim, can tell us. Who is this confusing God? He is not a man, but he have hands. He is not. A man, but he have fingers. Is that a monkey, chimpanzee? What is that? Why Allah have fingers? What he will do exactly with the fingers? I will give you options. Allah will grab things with his fingers. Actually, the hadith says yes, he will grab things with his fingers. Allah will clean his nose, clean his nose with his finger. We don't want to change the topic now about the baby who is one year old, but we want to we, let us focus about who is Allah. If there is any Muslim want to call me and tell me who is Allah, based on what we say, we, what you Muslims teach, we Christian Muslim they say to us, you worship a man. You Muslims, you worship five fingers and a shin. We Christian, we say hallelujah. You Muslim, you say shenanuya. Which one is better? Your God is a shen. You see, when we try to uh, to uh, uh, to paint Allah, let me try to paint him or to draw him. You know, I'm very good in drawing. Uh, I, I did beat Picasso in, in that uh, field. So Allah have a face. Okay. Uh, 
I mean, what is that? Hold on. My mouse is not helping me. You see, I'm very good in, in, in painting, by the way, but I'm, I'm losing my skills lately. Okay. All right, all right. Allah have eyes. Allah eyelashes is so big, by the way. And Allah have a nose and have a mouth. His mouth is very nice. And Allah have two hands. Both of them are in the right side. This is hand number one, and this is hand number two. Each hand have five fingers. Don't laugh, please, about this painting. It's amazing. Just say amazing. Alhamdulillah. Five fingers. Two hands in the right side. Then Allah have a shin. And have a foot. I have to draw only one because the hadith says have a shin and have a foot. Never says it says he have two foot. It says he have a foot and he have a shin. So we have to go by the description. So based on what we receive, Allah is the most funny, stupid creature ever. Have you ever seen a creature? He have two hands in the right side. That means I can spank him from the left side and he can do nothing about it. And as long as we are saying he have right side, that means he have a left side. The point to say, when we say, you know, like this is religious meaning of uh, right, and Muhammad is trying to, to, to copy from the Old Testament and the New Testament, what, what the, 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 met, the metaphor meaning of the word, uh, uh, a metaphorical word, or, or, sorry, uh, meaning of the word uh, uh, right. The word right always is about who is right, the righteous. So both hands of Allah are right. But here Muhammad, because he's an idiot, he's speaking about something literally. It's a real hand, and both of them, they are in the right side. Allah have a mouth. Literally. Not metaphorically. Allah have fingers. Literally. Allah have foot. Literally. Allah have a shin. Literally. So who is Allah? Any Muslim? By the way, I have copyright over this printing, so please don't. If you want to buy my paint, just contact me. Let me let me sign the uh, the paint. Abdul. Allah. Uh, no best. Thank you very much. This is God. And where Muhammad, he got the description of his God. Where Allah in the Quran, he said to Muhammad, I have a foot. How he knew. And what is the size of the foot of Allah? And do he wear shoes? Is Allah naked? Any Muslim might tell us, as long as Allah have a foot, have a shin, have hands, have ass, have face, is Allah naked? Maybe have feather? Maybe he's a chicken? Hmm? Any Muslim? My Skype is on. Who want to call me? Only Muslims. I want Muslims to call me, please. Who is the Muslim would like to call? Because if Allah have a, as long as Allah have a body, then we need to know if Allah is naked or not. Allah is a physical being. 
Do you remember my debate with the the Sheikh? Uh, uh, what his name? Doctor Nabil Baikri. He said uh, the the guy with him, Imam Mal Malik Sar, and him. He said no one knows who is Allah. <laughs> No one knows. That's it. My friend, no one knows who's Allah. What's wrong with you? This is the Muslim cleric, the head of the Islamic Center of Tennessee, saying to us the answer. No one knows who's Allah. So why you worship him? No one knows. They do not know what his name mean. They don't know where is the word Allah coming from. And you know they start fabricating story and they say to you, Allah is coming from the, uh, you know, is the same as Elohim. You see how, how stupid you Muslims are. Elohim is not even a name. Who told you that Elohim is a name? And what il have to do with Allah? Il is just a word mean God. Elohim, you, the second you say Elohim, you just admitted that Christianity is right. The Trinity must be true because Elohim mean gods. Not God. So what do you mean by saying is the same God of the Christians? You see, in the Bible, in the Bible, God, he described himself by saying, I am. He did not give a name. There's no name. For no name can fit with him. I am the one who is exists by myself. I am. Musa said, okay, Lord, I'm going to tell my people who I'm going to tell them. Who are you? He said, go and tell them I am. Muhammad the thief, he stole names from the Old Testament, from the New Testament, and because he's a thief, he do not know even what they mean. You see, we mentioned before, when we speak about things in the Quran, we mentioned that if you search the whole Quran, you cannot find one place telling us who is Israel. Israel, the, the word Israel in the Quran mentioned many times. But nowhere we can find in the Quran, who is Israel? Who is Israel? The Muslim, they will tell you, we can find out from the New Testament and from the Old Testament. <laughs> we can find out. Thief. Yeah, Bani Israel, all children of Israel. Okay, who is Israel? Have you ever heard of somebody? Imagine I say, oh, children of Trump. But shouldn't you tell me first who is Trump? Who is Israel? And how his name became Israel? You see the Quran, he mentioned Jacob. And then the Quran, he mentioned Israel. But there's no connection. Why? Because he's a thief. He was reading from the book of Waraq ibn Nawfal. And Waraq ibn Nawfal, he did not make introduction. Waraq ibn Nawfal, he was making a summaries of what he called the gospel of the Nasara, not the gospel of the Christians. It's a summary book. This is what Quran is about. It's like a headline. Muhammad, he took the book of Waraq especially after he died and now he decided to copy from the Waraka book as, as as the beginning but he do not know what this book is saying and when they asked him any any spiritual question or any religious question muhammad is the last one to know and the answer as usual allah knows best Do we have any Abdul? 
يا بني إسرائيل أوكي هو إز إسرائيل Hmm? All those verses in front of us mentioning the word Israel. Look how many times. 41 times in the Quran, the word Israel is mentioned. Not even once it says who is this person, who he called him Israel. How the Muslims will know. When the Muslim they say we have an angel who delivered to Muhammad the message. Okay, what is the name of this angel? They say his name is Jibreel. What Jibreel mean? They don't know. What Mikael mean? They don't know. Israfil mean? They don't know. Hazrail mean? All those names you are coming. Where, where are those names coming from? They don't know. For Islam is a theft. When the Muslim they call Jesus Isa. Where is Isa coming from? What is Isa? Obviously, Muhammad is under the influence of the Greek copy of the Bible, Asos, which we became later in the Latin Jesus. And this is why, and the proof that he is under the influence of the Greek Bible. Or the Greek name from the Greek Bible that Muhammad himself he called the gospel in Jeel. The word in Jeel appear as you see in the front of you 12 times. Where Muhammad he got the word in Jeel from? Uh, and masking force is it about the topic? Or something else. If it's about the topic, ask me, no problem. But we don't want to change the topic for now, please. Let us leave it for later if it's not about the topic. Where Muhammad he got the, the, the name in Jira from? You see, this is additional proof that Muhammad is a false man. Let me tell you why. Just to make it simple for you. When Muhammad name the book of Jesus in Jeel. You see here in the English translation, they say gospel. But in the Arabic, it says in Jeel, but in Jeel is not an Arabic word. In Jeel is not an Arabic word. So where is the word in Jeel coming from? Any Muslim? Any Muslim can tell us? Injil is a Greek word. How how Muhammad and the Muslim believed that Jesus was a messenger to the Jews, but yet his book is in a Greek language? Do you see the stupidity? Do you see the stupidity of the of, of Muhammad? He copied the word as it is in Jeel and he put it in his Quran. But by saying that, you just admitted that Jesus is for all mankind. And even his book is not even in Hebrew, as you say here, because you named his book in Jeel. Why Jesus have a book? His, its name is in Jeel. What is the Hebrew name? Any Muslim want to tell us? We go back to zero. Who is Allah? Nobody knows. What Injil mean? Nobody knows. Okay, what Adam mean? Adam, Adam, what Adam mean? Nobody knows. Because it's a theft. The whole stories are a theft. What Ibrahim mean? They don't know. didn't know and the funny they say to you Islam is a religion come with answers when the Muslims in every article they write 
they give you no answer you read anything anything you end with one thing Allah knows best and we do not know even the Quran says that huge part of the Quran nobody knows what does it does mean save Allah Muhammad he had to come with this verse so he can cover his ass from being getting busted don't ask me I do not know nobody knows what those mean save Allah he's a thief chapter 3 verse number 7 it says clearly that there's a parts of the Quran which nobody knows what it does mean save Allah none none knows its explanation save Allah that's it don't waste your time nobody don't ask me I have no idea Allah only know have you ever heard of a God he sent messages to his prophet and those messages messages nobody knows what they mean save Allah so why he sent them right according to you Jesus never got a book so it's a huge mistake who according to me well, who said according according to me my friend Jesus said go and teach and preach that is his book the gospel is the book of a preaching not only a book of writing so who said to you he don't have a book and who said that we don't have a book who said that to you what I said maybe you are deaf if the Muslims they say that Jesus was a messenger only for the Jews so why his name in the Quran is a Greek name and why the name of his book is a Greek book anyone any Abdul who is Abdul wanna give me a call no answer they do not know who is Allah they do not even what what Muhammad mean Muhammad mean the praised one okay how Muhammad his name became the praised one you are just calling him God for the praised one is God to make it simple Muhammad is a filthy man who tried to be the Messiah he wanted to be the praised one he changed his name this is why you see in the Quran he have many names Do we have any Abdul? Hmm? And then you know the Muslims they come with their madness to say to you that the name of Muhammad is in the in the Old Testament. Well, the name of Muhammad in the Old Testament. Let me show you a surprise, surprise. The Quran said. That the name of Muhammad never exists, neither in Old Testament or in New Testament. The name is known is Ahmad. وَإِذْ قَالَ عِيسَى إِبْنُ مَرْيَمَ يَا بَنِي إِسْرَائِيلِ إِنِّي رَسُولُ اللَّهِ إِلَيْكُمْ مُصَدِّقًا لِمَا بَيْنَ يَدَيْ مِنَ التَّوْرَةِ وَبَشِّرًا بِرَسُولٍ يَأْتِي مِنْ بَعْدِي إِسْمُهُ أَحْمَدٌ. Translation. Let us take any Abdul. Isa, supposedly Jesus here. He said to the Jews, I am a messenger of Allah, and I'm telling you about a prophet will come after me, a messenger after me. His name is Ahmad. Where is Muhammad? How did that he found Muhammad in the Old Testament? It should be found in the New Testament and not Muhammad, it should be Ahmad. Muhammadim, you know, this Ahmad did that himself, this idiot, 
he was for many years saying that the, the song of songs is porn it is porn my friend porn full of uh, sexual phrases suddenly the song of songs is about his prophet and since then the song of songs became holy for the muslims ahmad is not a name my friend ahmad is not a name muhammad is not a name it's a title it's a title of god it is a title of god if you have my books you will find that muslims they were fighting over his piss the water which he washed his testicles with the muslim they fight over it i made a video before i don't know how many of you saw it where the muslims are fighting over the shit excuse my language of the camel of aisha imagine the shit of the camel of aisha not even the shit of aisha and then the one who is lucky he grabbed the shit and he sniffed and according to Muslims, the shit of the camel of Aisha smell like musk, perfume. MashaAllah. Do you remember the hadith where a woman, she drank the piss of Muhammad? Muhammad, he told her that no pain will hit your stomach again. <laughs> she drank his piss. Literally. Do we have any Abdul? What in Quran 1 verse number 1? What do you mean masking? I don't know. I just told you, Ahmad and Muhammad, all of them, they lead to one thing. Don't you see the Muslim, they say, Alhamdulillah, Hamd, Hamd. It's a, it's a, both the end with one thing. It's one of the names of Allah. Titles. Muhammad is Allah. Ah, you are talking about uh, chapter one. Yeah, chapter one. This is different topic, but it's okay. Ch chapter one. Uh, in the Quran supposedly Muhammad he received it and by the way chapter 1 is not a chapter 1 chapter 1 in the Quran today is not really chapter 1 which Muhammad supposedly he received because the Muslim they play with the Quran you see the funny they say to you that you Christian you corrupted your book but they themselves they admit that the book they have is not the book Muhammad he deliver the first chapter if you remember Muhammad he received is where the angel he squeezed him three times and saying to him read and that can be found in the Quran today in number 96 so chapter number one today is not really chapter number one however according to the hadith according to the interpretation Muhammad he received a chapter number one during the time he was doing poopoo and this is a clear sign that Muhammad is truly a prophet of God I mean think about it what is the best to best time to receive message from Allah Except the, the time you do popo. If we go to the tafsir, and this is the Muslim tafsir, not mine. This is a chapter one, verse number one. I have nothing to do with it. Don't tell me you are saying things. It's a lie. You know, this it, it's in front of you. Muhammad. Each time he want to do popo. He hear a voice saying to him, Muhammad. And what Muhammad he do? The second he hear the voice, he run. Why? Why Muhammad he run when he hear the voice? If this is the voice of the angel or the voice of Allah, doesn't matter what. And look how the Muslims they try to make it look nicer. They say, whenever he went out, he used to hear someone calling him oh muhammad someone who is someone they said someone because supposedly at this moment muhammad is confused you do not know who is this later we will find out that this is jibreel the angel okay why muhammad is running from the angel jibreel when he said to him muhammad remember this is not the first time muhammad he speak to the angel and hear his voice so why is he running he's running because night and he's doing poopoo -poo. 
he got scared so when he whenever read with me carefully and whenever he heard this he used to flee oh what the, what kind of a prophet this prophet is he go to do poo poo he hear a voice saying to him Muhammad okay all day long Muhammad not doing poo poo only when he want to get out to do poo poo the angel speak to him can't he get inside the house and tell to him Muhammad why the angel he wait for him until he want to get out to the bathroom and the second Muhammad he hear the sound oh Muhammad he flee Muhammad stop Muhammad Muhammad is running in the middle of the night and then Muhammad he told Waraka bin Nawfal about what's happening each time he want to go to do poo poo he hear the voice Muhammad he told Waraka bin Nawfal his real father he said to him advise him to remain in his place when the caller calls him so that he hear what he has to tell him look at this story That's mean Muhammad is a stupid and Waraka is the wise man. So Waraka said to him, Why are you are running? Why you don't wait and see what he want to say to you? <laughs> and you know, guys, and what do you mean he runs? So it, what, what, what is the story saying that when Muhammad he run, he stopped hearing the voice? What why is that? This is an angel. Muhammad he should be able to hear him anywhere he go. So what do you mean you run? An angel who have 600 wings and his wings can cover the horizon. So Muhammad is running nowhere. Still under his, he's still under his wings. You, you know what I mean? Imagine I have a spaceship in the top of me and the spaceship is like 500 kilometers wide. And I am trying to run under the spaceship. That, that's stupid of me to do. Because you run where? Jibreel is so big. And then next time, Muhammad hear a sound. So Muhammad, he did not run away. So now, when he went out again, he heard the calling saying, Oh Muhammad, he said, Here I am at your service. What the heck? I am at your service. It's the same as in the movie we see when the genie come from the ball. The caller said, say, I be your witness. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Did they say here, the caller said, say? Do you see it? Okay, where is the word say in the Quran? Where it is because now he is delivering the verse do we have any abdul I don't really I don't want to stay long with you guys but I wanted to share with you a little bit of the stupidity of this cult people they might be confused and be, they might think because of the pro pro propaganda of the Muslims the huge size of propaganda and those who knows much about Islam their voice is not really heard you know like now I have you know uh, uh, 96 people watching I mean this is nothing but if I'm a Muslim you will find Thousands of people copying my videos. Muslims, they sponsor the religion and they copy paste any link, support their cult. But that will not make it accurate. It's still stupid and it's the most stupid, dangerous cult ever exists. Christians, they like just to watch and, you know, Hey, thank you. You know, we are happy for you. Thank, thank God we have you. Yeah, but they will not really do much work. Few, few only. They care and few only. 
they do the work the rest are just people who eat a sandwich and you know they have some popcorn next to their computer and they laugh at Muhammad and laugh at Allah that's it this is what they do but I say to Muslims it doesn't matter how much you try and how much money you spend to promote your cult it is dying and it is dead because surprise surprise most of people who do watch my videos are not even the Christians they are the Muslims just today before I start broadcast here I received an email from someone he decided to leave Islam and he said to me I don't even remember him he said I used to argue with you a lot before he said every Muslim should have your, your books I don't even remember his name he said he he said he used to argue with me before Islam is a stupid by nature Islam cannot stand the question and a very simple question you ask who is Allah they do not know Allah is a physical being Allah have fingers Allah have foot Allah have a hand Allah have a shin Allah have a leg but yet he is not a man who is Allah they don't know so what is left what is left that they don't have a prophet they pray the prayer he pray five times a day he delivered it was delivered to him when he was doing poo, poo this is God he sent an angel to deliver to Muhammad the most important supposedly prayer for the Muslims when when Muhammad want to do poo, poo and each time Muhammad he hear him he ran away what if Waraq ibn Nawfal did not say to Muhammad stop and see what he want that's mean by now we will not have the prayer right what if this guy did not tell him to stop to hear what this uh, person is saying and how we know now that this is an angel he did not see him he did not hear a voice what if it is somebody in the dark saying to Muhammad whatever shish kebab falafel and not to forget to mention that Muhammad proven by the stories of Islam he is a person who live in an illusion even the hadith says it clearly that Muhammad used to imagine himself doing things he in fact he never did including sex including sex the Prophet continued for such and such period imagining that he had sex but in fact with his wife but in fact he did not so Muhammad was having sex with who it was not the wives it was somebody else who and what kind of illusion what is the situ what is the uh, uh, what is the level of illusion Muhammad is suffering from to the point he cannot even recognize if this was real or fake or it was his wife or somebody else how we can trust this man that he was hearing a voice saying to him Muhammad it might be an illusion as you see same when Muhammad he himself admit that shaitan he gave him satanic verses right do we have any Muslim caller you see from this uh, the first second I start my broadcast I said I want a Muslim to call me and then now not even one for very simple reason they do not know who's Allah or oh, what they will say to you is the creator <laughs> uh, what creator your God Allah he said to Muhammad read it three times and still Muhammad cannot read what creator he could not even teach him how to read bring Muhammad to me two weeks I will teach him how to read how to write unless he is a donkey what kind of God he squeezed a man three times saying to him read remember the angel is is when when the angel say the word read this is the order of Allah this is not the words of of the angel so Allah is saying to Muhammad read it yet Muhammad cannot read Jesus said to the blind man see the man saw you know so walk the man, the man cannot walk walk 
carry your bed and walk go ahead the man he carry his bed and he walk Allah he said to Muhammad three time and he made the angel squeeze him three times to activate him supposedly and it's tell Muhammad you don't even understand what the angel he want and Abdul Do we have any beautiful Abdul? As you see today, guys, I did not do broadcast with the Arab for Christ. I did it with the Christian Prince. I just, you know, for a, a change. But we will keep our Arab for Christ, and we will keep this one and Arabian Prophet. All they are still my accounts. So please subscribe to all the the names, uh, so you will be informed. And be sure, you know, to turn on your notification, so you will receive notification when I am live on air. Any Muslim before we go? Well, I want to say thank you guys for being here. May the Lord bless you. And I hope that one day we will find a Muslim who have the courage and the knowledge to tell us who is Allah, which is unknown God, or what we know about him. He has five fingers, two hands in the right side, one foot, and one leg. And maybe, maybe his ass is look like an ass of a human being but we do not know especially the hadith says that allah is sitting in the top of a rooster i never heard of a god he sat in top of rooster you see once a muslim he says to me your god he sat in the top of a donkey well, my god is coming in the form of a man man in the flesh so he have a body of a man your god sitting in the top of a rooster doing what i heard of a cowboy Elephant boy, giraffe, rooster. And the rooster, he sneezed, and Allah, he said to him, bless you. And the rooster speak Arabic. Obviously, everything, everybody speak Arabic. Chickens, roosters, goats, everybody speak Arabic, except Muhammad. All right, guys, thank you very much for being here. May the Lord bless you, and enter we'll see you again maybe tomorrow. Christ is Lord, and Islam is false. And we we'll see you soon again. Please share the links with your friends, download the videos, and don't forget to uh, subscribe if you are new. And if you are not new, and subscribe so you can unsubscribe, you can subscribe again because that's more fun. All right, thank you very much, and God bless you. Take care, bye bye.